Okay, here we are on for virtue number one out of the ten virtues of a law officer. And I'm here in my hooch in Kabul, Afghanistan. If you remember the attack on the U.S. Embassy on September 13th, and you remember that concrete building that the insurgents were firing the RPGs and the, and the AK-47s from? Well, right outside of this door is where that concrete building is, about a half a mile away. So we were right in the, in the zone, right in the range of uh, that attack here about a week or so ago. Anyway, we're starting out with this new series, and we did the intro last time, but I want to read the intro again, and then the first virtue. As a member of the law enforcement profession, I pledge to honor the sacred trust placed in me by God and the community I serve by guarding the thoughts and attitudes of my heart as I purpose to, and here's the first virtue, to always remain submissive to those in authority over me in faithful obedience, realizing that I do not represent myself, but the trust of the people, the authority of the government, and the ideals of the police profession. Now, you know, when we talk about being submissive, we think that's some kind of a wimpy term. You know, we don't, we don't think of submission as being a very strong uh, character-based term at all, but really it is. Submission means being under the mission. It, it really is a military term that connotes power under control. Governmental power and authority under the control of our character and our, our intellect. It's a very, very powerful word. And the dynamic of authority is perhaps the most powerful of all of the police dynamics principles. Dr. George Thompson of the Verbal Judo Institute calls it the art of representation. It means being who you represent yourself to be. It is the essence of integrity. You wear that badge, you wear that patch on the sleeve, you wear your uniform, it's supposed to represent something, and it's supposed to represent something bigger than you are. Not your goals, not your agenda, not your ego, but something much, much bigger than that. You represent the law, you represent your department, you represent the standards of the police profession. You represent the Constitution. And ultimately, you represent the people. In our system of government, there is no higher authority. And it's so important that we keep our egos in check so that we can have the right response to the challenges that we face in the law profession. Obedience is so important to us as a professional law officer. But obedience is, is more than just following instructions. Character-based obedience means fulfilling the expectations of your authorities with a desire to serve. Interestingly, um, obedience and submission are oftentimes blind spots for us as law enforcement professionals. I mean, who wants to be known as the most obedient? or the most submissive officer on the force. We don't like those types of labels. But for a moment, I want you to think about the most disobedient person that you know on the force, the most rebellious person that you know on the force, and hopefully, of course, it's not you. But I want you to think about them for a moment, and then think about what is it when they're out there on the street, or they're working in the detention facility, or wherever their assignment is, what is it that sends them into orbit faster than anything else on the planet. It's disobedience to them. The most disobedient person on the force is the one that gets most irritated and most aggravated when someone is disobedient to them. That's why we call it a blind spot. So the next time you find yourself getting uh, overly irritated, overly aggravated, overly offended, by a perceived character flaw in someone else? Take a moment for some self-reflection because you may find that the very character uh, flaw that's irritating you about them is one that you yourself have and you don't know it because it's a blind spot.